Welcome back to another Steins Gate Zero review. Today is episode 12. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Cal Shop. As always, we are anime viewers only, no source material. We're going to discuss the episode and give our scores at the end. You ready? I am ready. So we're asking where were they going to go with this show last week after that episode. And they went with, uh, you know, let's just have a chill, relaxed episode of gaining some memories back. Right. And also you know, the 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 tale of the mystery song yes it's it's just a very basic kind of straightforward episode like nothing too deep to dive into until like the very end or like something actually right well this i guess the song itself kind of but we'll get to that yeah but so yeah our scene so myri in the future adopts kagari um we get that uh you know, and she was being taught a song, which Mayuri, hey, in present time, sings it. Kagari thought has like one of those episodes, like, oh, <laughs> hey, I'm getting something remembering, so I passed out. Um, and of course, we learn a little bit. We learn a lot from Suza this episode, basically, just like, hey, uh, you know, she was a war orphan, had no family. Mayuri took her in, and then. We learned why she pointed a gun at her, right. and that was because she was afraid that if they changed the timeline, she would never get to meet her mother, basically. Which, um, I that's understandable from her perspective. Yeah, because you're taking someone's family away. Right, like if I came up to you and said, I'm going to take the memories of everyone you care about, you'd probably not agree with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, okay, <laughs> please don't. <clears throat> And then, yeah, this is where we go through the whole loop with the song throughout this episode. Like, they're trying to figure out where did the song come from? Like, who who taught who? They're like, oh, uh... <laughs> Mayu, Mayuri's like, oh, I learned it from Suzuha. Suzuha's like, well, I learned it from, uh... Her mom. My mother, Yuki. <laughs> and she's like, well, I learned it from someone else. <laughs> it's like, we're just going into this it's... whole thing, really. And... The crazy thing, this song comes full circle, and I'm trying to, because Mayuri learned it from Suzaha Susan. in this yeah. time, present. Yeah, yes. And Suzaha learned it from her mother in future. In, in future time. <laughs> and Yuki, her, she learned it from Okabe's mom in present. Yes. And Okabe's mom learned it from Okabe right. in the past. In the past. And then the crazy but, thing at the end, Okabe learned it from Kagari in yes. the past. Yes. So it's like, it's when like did that this. happen? Was it like wearing... Because the only time Kagari kind of like came to the past was when she was traveling with Suza. So right. it must have happened at some point when they split before she lost her memories. So it's like a paradox thing going on? Or maybe Okabe learned it previously in another world line he just doesn't remember? Yeah, because him and Mayuri both don't remember at all. Right. Maybe. And it didn't look like he was young enough to like forget. Right, He it looked like a maybe 10 years at most. Sure. At least, probably. Uh, like, I guess he was 10 years old. Or, I would I, say at least 10, right? Like, right. Or it, it, was, it wasn't something crazy. It wasn't like he was like 6 or 4 or something where he could forget it. Because he, he doesn't... Sixth grade, I think he didn't remember Kagari right. either, right? Like, initially. Because no. no. he wouldn't forget her, I feel. No, because it was like... Because they were definitely older. Because, <clears> like... His mother said when, because it was like, I don't know, did she say like sixth grade? I don't know if they would say that directly. It was somewhere around there, six, six, or a six being in there somewhere. He uh, was young. Because he said when Mayuri had like a breakup or something when they're like young or something. Uh, well, when so, her grandmother died. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> uh, it's kind of crazy. But, <laughs> so... So we don't actually know where it came from, and I don't know if we'll... 
it is interesting how it connects all of them. Like, yeah, because Connery had lear learned it from. Like, there's no way that like it's kind of weird because the person that taught it learned it from someone who never learned it, but learned from someone who has never taught it. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, because Kagari learned it from future Mayuri, who who learned it from yeah present Suzuha, but Suzuha learned it from the future, and then uh, okay. <laughs> When you try to think about it, you're like, because uh... Connery learned it from Mayuri, right? So like, but yeah, she talked to Okabe, who taught Mayuri, right? Which this is where that little paradox shit comes into play here, and it's like, man, what is going right, on? Because like, how could Connery teach teach it when she never learned it, but taught it, never taught it, never never taught it to be learned, right? Because it's just, on the same I timeline. Just... Unless he, it could be something the with switching is, world lines, or I don't know. Yeah, but the, but when you switch world lines, like those whole memories get transferred or whatever. And stuff yeah, like, but maybe like maybe Okabe they, learned it in a different timeline, but his reading Steiner didn't uh, kick Steiner, in, that's, that's or maybe it's on a world line that just doesn't exist. Any, I don't know. I don't know if it's it will go deeper into this or if this they'll just leave it at like this crazy like paradox thing going on. <clears throat> but it's it's twist your mind when you think about it. it. <laughs> mind twisting, which hey, I mean besides like a few things outside of the song though, of course, Daru finally made the moves. <laughs> um, Mama Souza. Trying to get get in there finally. Their date was interrupted, but you no, know, he's doing it. He's finally, finally, he's making the moves. It. Proud of you. This is off. We do the uh, the uh, eating contest. So free food, wherever you can get. I it. Th dude, that, that, that was a way more like when she said, "I'm getting ready for battle." I thought she was gonna like use the time machine. Like I was worried. Like That's a, what Okabe thought. I, I mean, <laughs> like, oh, something's gonna happen. No, she's just eating food. Just eat all you can, whenever you can. So, yeah, and outside of the song, there's really the only last thing is, I mean, the people in the van who are the group chasing them obviously confirmed they found Kagari. Was that back yeah. in the present? I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was in the present. Or was that or in that past? I thought that was. I or thought was that, that was a jump? Because to... I thought they that looked like when they were watching. Because they were watching Okaban. It looked like. Yeah, that's what I was. What was it? So yeah. from the past, or from the past, or whatever that other line was. So I'm thinking that was before she lost her memories, and they approached her after that, and that's when she lost her memories. Well, did she say why she lost her memories? Or did it? No, I, because she wouldn't really know how she lost her. Or memories. I mean, like it's because they found her when she and she had like no memories. So I'm guessing when I she mean, first time traveled. Well, no, because when they tried to travel back, she pulled the gun because she didn't want to lose my ear. So she didn't lose her memory there yet. Hmm. Well, I'm Not trying to think when head. she lost her memories. Because now, but the hmm. but for her to teach the song, she would have had to. That's what memories. I'm saying. Or at least have a subconscious thought of the song, I guess. We're okay. We're this is Steins Gate is about to take us on a roller coaster. I feel like because when they start getting you thinking, they usually just keep going with it until they wrap it up at the end. Oh man, I don't even know what's gonna happen. I can't. I I literally have no clue. I'm still wondering where they're gonna go with this. <laughs> right, like. Everyone's still kind of gone. I guess Kagari is going to be a main clue for something or something. Well, she well, she got her memory, so we're going to learn yeah, more from her. Learn about it, but yeah, it's gonna it's probably going to be a very. Um, so obviously, my ear is going to be very confused. <laughs> She's like, "You're my mom. What? What the fuck <laughs> are you talking about?" <laughs> okay, <what> are you... <laughs> but yeah. Um,
I mean, that was pretty. The whole episode was pretty much the whole the yeah, the whole the story of the song. Is. And next episode, I'm expecting a lot of backstory with Kagari, or at least more like info, it's more explanation. Because they're yeah. definitely good. obviously Suda I was going to want to learn a lot more since they were close. So that's definitely where it's going to be heading. But there's really <clears throat> not much else to delve into, really. Right. I mean, you want to jump into scores? Yeah, we can jump into scores. I'll give uh, the... Oh, you want to go? Go ahead. You got this. I was like, I'll give it an eight and a half. It was pretty solid, especially when I had no idea what they were going to do. Like, I was like, how do you get rid of, like, half your cast? Not half your cast, but, like, an important members. But the whole, the whole song thing really intrigues me. Just how, like, this person learned it from this one, who's from this time, or from the future, from the past, all this. It's crazy how it all connects, and it just messes with my brain. But I like when it does that. It makes you think. And I'm excited that we're probably going to learn a lot next episode, so I'm ready. I'm actually going to give it a seven, seven and a half in there. I thought it was just kind of like a really chill episode, just kind of laid back from the other ones. Uh Obviously, it does bring in that huge mind twister towards the end. But so I lost the episode. It was just kind of relaxing feel to it. And I, I, to me, it didn't like engage me as much as the other episodes. Uh, but I am intrigued with where we're going to see with Kagari in the future and what what kind of secrets he holds for these organizations and stuff that we still don't know too much about. Right. But, yeah, but, that's it that means it's time spiel time as always if you don't want songs getting stuck in your head be sure to like subscribe hit the notification bell down below to be notified every time we upload comment down below let us know what you thought of so what you did didn't like would you score it anything like that again no spoilers we are anime viewers only and plenty of others are uh, stream over at twitch.tv, links in the description below along with social media, and until next time, peace out. See ya.